today I'm going to talk about how to feel good in life towards people so that you are not afraid and you're not anxious or tense. So this could apply to social anxiety and even just general when you're not feeling good and you don't feel like interacting with people or facing them fair and square in the face when you kind of want to avoid people. So when you want to avoid people and you feel this if you're living with people and you just don't feel good meeting them or getting in their company. So here is what I'd like to say and that is to, a quotation from Amma for example, unity is peace and what I do in my life and what helps me is I, I change my perspective of a person as being some separate other um, like a stranger, I change my opinion of them being a stranger and I look at them with the eyes of my heart, the two little peeper holes that my eyes look at my eyes look out from my heart, and that is that they're family. Because what what why or what makes what makes our family the way it's just a small group? What is it that our family is so small? Why? Like why not a human family? And uh, if you extend your family feelings towards other people, then you can feel more comfortable with them. And when you feel more comfortable with people because you view them like your family, you're not afraid of them. And this can apply when you're in social um, meetups, social anxiety groups, um, giving a talk, uh, attending a function passing people on the street you know you can actually like say hi or if you live with people you can say hi you can feel comfortable you don't feel like they're like some sort of like a threat or or something to fear um, there's nothing to fear or to be feel threatened by them by unless literally they are aggressive and bully or crazy but usually most people are like that and obviously if they're like that look after yourself look after your boundaries and get out of there or seek help at least but for ordinary people, we all have a degree of anxiety, generally speaking, when it comes to other people. There's a certain apprehension or fear or tension. So we live in a box of society, the compartmentalization, where it's always like this little group, that little group, or me, or that person, this other person. And often we're looking out for ourselves instead of looking after others. Obviously, you can go to the extreme of being a carer and an a disenabler, where if you always look after someone, you 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 do not enable them to become confident and secure and self-strong on their own. So that's like an extreme where you don't want to pamper people excessor, excessively. You want to empower them to be able to look after their own lives, but obviously you want to add to their life. But that's not what I'm really look, talking about now. What I'm talking about is where well, you can you can feel part of this world you can feel connected unified you can feel confident that you can face anybody and anything and you need awareness you need understanding you need information you need education you need the right knowledge to surf through life accurately well like the other today I said hi to two kids or I talked I said hey I read that book that you're reading now it's really awesome and they just ignored me and then I was thinking okay well they're reasonably young and maybe they were taught it's safe not to talk to strange men and that's fine with me but a lot of the time in society we don't actually say hi back to a stranger because we just live in a weird crazy fuzzy world of grey where we're separate from them and they're separate and we feel awful so that's so um, that's sort of like what um, awakening up is a little bit to being more a human family or a galactic or a cosmic family. Like where is the boundary of relativity? Why do we have to have such a small little like boundary, you know? It's like the nations, like I'm from Ireland, I'm Irish. <laughs> but what about European? Or why not from Earth? I'm Earth, I'm an Earth citizen. I'm, I'm a cosmic, I'm a galactic Milky Way person. And we're all together because we're all from the same galaxy. But we don't do it that way really. We keep compartmentalizing all the time, creating boundaries and walls and separation. 
So my suggestion is, if you want to have a way more awesome life, to look after your health, have lots and lots and lots of fruit and green leafy vegetables. They're the ideal human food. Part of the reason why I feel high today is because I've been having a lot of green leafy vegetables and fruit lately. But um, natural high, like no, no fake stuff. It just felt really cool without the fake stuff, without the stimulants, no chocolate, no coffee, no drugs, just some herbs, superfoods, and fruits and vegetables. <laughs> but um, this has helped me in my life, you know, when I wanted to avoid contact with people. And then I remembered people are my friends and my family, especially my family. And you can relax in your boots, relax in your shoes. You can let go, breathe in peace. And this will, I promise, change your life to a degree. And it's changed my life to a degree. And there's nothing better than peace. That's what I've come to realize. Peace is better than happiness. Happiness isn't measured by smiles. It's measured by inner peace, contentment, fulfillment. Living a sense of passion and purpose and tr your own truth. It's inner peace and living your truth what's important to you. You know, laughter yoga, laughter, fake laughing is a tool and I have done and I occasionally do <laughs> start laughing and doing crazy stuff. Like today I was at the checkout just like a few minutes ago and uh, it was uh, an automated checkout, like just a machine and it was in super value and um, there's loads of people all around, like there's eight or eight machines. And then the machine says, thank you for shopping at Super Value. And then I said, and I says, thank you for choosing this, the fast lane. And that's what it says. And I said, oh, no problem at all. Thanks for like serving me fast and have a really nice day. You're really helpful. <laughs> and before that, I started like laughing and pretending to crack up laughing like a few minutes before, like a minute or two before. I was like, <laughs> so I just started laughing at the blue to myself. And then I was like, laughing beforehand and after and I, I left uh, I left uh, the gates the doors the super value and then some other man I must have looked at him but he looked at me and he had he started laughing a little bit I was like how the hell it's like contagious or the law of attraction like it's just like then I it's in response to his like kind of like little tiny laugh I just did more laughing <laughs> and then yeah just loads of laughing <laughs> I was cycling down like the bray like really really fast and as I would pass by some people I go ah <laughs> but not that I was laughing at them because I don't want anyone to become like paranoid that I'm laughing at them and sometimes it's really funny it's going Pff. but I try not to do that too much because usually that's when we can't hold in like a real crazy deep laugh but I don't like to do that too much in case people if someone's like particularly overweight or looks funny I don't want to do that because then they might be self-conscious thinking I'm laughing at them or something so I always try to be conscientious and mix in like child childlikeness fun after play play is so important guys play is deeply important but I'll leave that for another video but do remember to play and that can mean singing it could mean dancing it could mean knitting it could mean climbing a tree I climb a tree every day in my back garden and um, at least one like tree th I call it tree therapy it's amazing touch a tree you get beautiful love hugs warmth energy electrons and electromagnetic fields from the tree so that's all I'll say I'm going to get my bicycle now and I think I've wrapped up this video so remember to view people and remember that they are family so you don't have to be afraid and you can be kind and you can say hello and say good morning good afternoon good evening I've probably said hi or good afternoon good evening like good morning to around 30, 20 to 30 people today literally 15 20 25 tops probably but that's a fair bit of people it's still only like 2 a.m. 2 p.m. or something. 2, 3, 3 p.m. or something, I don't know. It's worth reaching out and having fun, guys. It changes your life, it changes your day. And the one other thing I'd say to remind you again, it's worth having lots of fruits and green leafy vegetables and even some herb. Some superfoods and a lot of water or liquid. I had a fair bit of pineapple juice today, like two thirds of a litre maybe, or half a litre. Not from concentrate, one euro sixty or so from little. You have to, if you want to be happy, just do these three things I said. View people like family, just reach out and say hi and good morning and all this stuff to a whole lot of people. Do a bit of fake laughing if you want and have lots of fruits and green leafy vegetables. You'd be so much happier. Meow. Meow, meow. That cat's actually pretty skittish, like, yeah. <laughs>
Well, everyone, hope you like this video. Um, if you like this video, feel, I feel welcome to consider to give it a like, which promotes the, my channel, simply put. And it also gives a bit of feedback, like people like what I'm doing and encourages me to continue, you know, that type of thing. And also to give it a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Check out my playlists that I've made on like spirituality, empowerment, um, health, awareness, people communication and relationships here. And also to leave any questions or comments or video requests below please. Send us a personal message if you feel like it, if you feel inspired. And of course, um, feel welcome to share. I consider, do consider that if you, if you want to spread this message or you think it would be helpful with anyone in particular in your family or friends, etc. Social media. And speaking of social media, please do like befriend me there. Facebook especially is what I use and a bit of Twitter. And if you're interested in herbs, my her I, have, I started my own herb shop, which is like HireSelfHerbs.com. You can see the links below. So check out my description box for her herbs for specific conditions. Thyroid, health, um, sleeping, eyes, energy, recovery from injury, illness, sickness, breakages, giants, detoxification, any anything and everything. Have a look below for my herbs for specific conditions. And finally, do check out my book. I wrote a book and I'm writing a second one. First book is really cool. Spirituality made fun, light and playful, but true empowerment. And finally, what's the last thing? Um, yes, if anyone's interested in one-to-one -one or, or, or group coaching or counselling with myself or my partner Sally, we do that. So, relationship or group counselling. Please do have a look below for more information. And regarding the one-to-one, -one, I do empowerment clarity coaching. That's what I call it. It's about clarity coaching and empowerment coaching. It's about that. So, help in life, healing and progression onto, to a better stage in your life. So, thanks for watching and thanks a million. Thanks for all your love, support and, and all of your kisses. And I send you love, support and kisses back. Bye. So, have a great day everyone. Have a good one. Healthy, happy, peaceful. Peaceful. All right, bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Mr. Fox and I'm living in Ireland.